y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and harry high 732 hit me up on instagram and said brand man what's the trade-off between dropping one album per year versus dropping two projects per year is it really worth it etc 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 let's get to that answer so let's start with the fact that after the content is fully created and ready to go there is one thing that is most important awareness getting it out to the public as many of the right people as possible but then within that awareness there are three ways that you make that happen numero uno is effort two is money and three is resources and when i say resources in this case it's a little bit more general we're talking about people and whatever other random assets you might have that might be able to benefit to you getting people's attention now let me start here there is no way i can just drop some kind of one size fits all nine Knowledge, saying that you should just drop one project a year or you should drop two projects a year or three projects a year and that fits everybody but what I can say is these are some things that you should be thinking about whenever you use up all your primary resources then you might miss out on some opportunities now what do I mean by that let's just say that you spend five thousand dollars on your marketing for your project or your single after all that money spent, all of a sudden you just happen to meet somebody and get this huge opportunity for this platform, but they say it costs $200, but you don't have any money anymore. You have to miss that opportunity. That's just a part of the game. You will miss some opportunities here and there. Obviously you wanna keep as much in the chamber as possible for you to take advantage of an opportunity. And when I say in the chamber, I don't just mean money, I mean people to leverage, other effort to leverage, all the other types of resources. So why is that relevant to this conversation? Well, just consider the fact that you say, I got two projects that I'm dropping this year and I'm gonna split everything in half. $500 towards this project, $500 towards this project. Now, hopefully it's more money than that, but the point is, if you do that, you might not be able to give as big of a push that gets it to a certain level, but if you put a thousand on one project and you don't put out the next music, then essentially you are taking less shots, which means you have less of a chance of hitting on something. If you just drop one project, then you're technically taking less shots, which means there's less chances of you making it big. Everything is a trade-off. Someone might say, what if I drop this one project and then I drop the second project and all of a sudden some of the things on my first project start taking off, but I already have another one off. That's all cool. If you have something catching, it's catching. Yeah, you might not have the money to double down on it, but remember, if it's really good content, if it's great content, you actually can make it pop again later. Now the stuff is out in the marketplace, you see what's working, take a step back. As you get the money that you need, you can now put it in those places that work the best. Translation, whichever songs are moving the best on their own, whichever ones seem like, oh snap, this one might be a hit, I didn't realize it. That's the song that you're going to put all your resources back into once you get the opportunity to again. And then on the bright side slash not so bright side, a lot of times we think a project or these songs are gonna be huge. This junk is my best material. Oh snap, I had my hoodie on. I was writing all deep and all that stuff. And when we get it out to the market, it's a dud. And if it's a dud, it's a dud. It's good. I got it out the way. Now I can move on to my new stuff. So that's a positive in that way. If you win or you lose, you just have to stay agile. And that's the most important part, right? You always want to be able to use some of your resources to get the amount of information you need, but hopefully have enough in the chamber to double down on where you need to. But if you can't do it immediately, at least you got the information on what worked for you and which singles might be worth pushing further than you already pushed them and now you gotta put in that work that's just the reality of the game let me go find some money somehow i don't know what you do for your money but go and do it and then bring it back to your project more specifically the singles that are working right now to push a whole project at the very beginning and hope all of it gets out there once is not the most effective use of your money the most effective use is yeah i drop a project but let's see which of these singles are worth pushing further and then when they see they love the single they'll check out the rest of it we all know how that goes at this point and we know lma song took off over a year later and we know juice world song really took off maybe like six to eight months later you have time to go back re-up and then bring it back home so what i say for the newer artists especially if you aren't really in the system with a manager that's well connected or you're able to get on a lot of these big playlists because you have all these industry connectors or whatever just drop more music. Two projects in one year is not really that much, especially since 
two projects just means like 14 songs for a lot of people these days. The only thing that's truly important is how you're able to manage the resources that you have. Let the people decide whether they like the music or hate it. They'll figure that out. It's up to you to take that information and use your resources to give them more of what they like. And even more than that, take what they like that you're doing and give that thing to more people. But of course, y'all get that already. Y'all so smart. Look at y'all. And don't forget, every Sunday for the rest of this year, 2018, I will be answering questions on IG. So follow me at Brandman Sean. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.